you guys have to forgive me this video is being recorded from my iphone because the struggle is really that real i have me my baby girl this is mama's baby girl that mommy's baby say hi fat mama and her shirt says happy first mommy's day so i guess we should start out this video by saying happy mother's day to all the mommies this video is a tag video that i have been um somewhat procrastinating on getting done this is a collab with ray and avery and baby ace of our normal life atlanta and this is the top five things that are the struggles for new mommies so if you're a new mommy and you can relate to just how much life changes after you give birth then definitely keep watching because this video is for you the first thing that i have struggled with since i gave birth to miss cameron is showering like showering is a struggle now i should also say i'm also a breastfeeding mommy um and she now can go a good three hours between meals but she does not play about her food at all and when she's hungry the world stops literally we were supposed to leave to go out to dinner today for mother's day but we're still here because she actually just ate and she is now full of gas and not happy she didn't want to get in her seat so we had to cancel our reservations because when mom is that happy nobody's happy <laughs> the second thing that i have struggled with since giving birth is me time pampering um having a social life just in general it's just been really really difficult why because i find myself feeling really really guilty when i'm not with her i feel bad like someone else is doing my job and it's my responsibility it's not my husband's responsibility or you know my mom or my in-laws or anyone it's i feel bad that i'm not with her and so i've been with her Pretty much the entire time since she's been born i haven't let her out of my sight for too too long i did go out for my girlfriend's birthday in march and cam was only two months old and i cried i cried leaving i cried in the car when i just sat out in the car when i first got outside and i cried on the way there like i just had a really hard time leaving her and literally i was late for the dinner because i didn't want to leave her um, with my husband and I know he's perfectly capable of keeping her. I just feel bad when I'm not with her so um, That has definitely been the struggle the third thing that I have found that has been a struggle since giving birth is sex. I am Terrified I have been terrified of having sex since I had her not of being pregnant again um, but just everything happening it's a lot it's 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 very scary <laughs> and it's crazy because my labor was so beautiful if you haven't i will link the video to our labor um and delivery um the birth of her of cameron i'll link that video somewhere on the screen as well as down in the info box so be sure to check that out but yeah that the thought of having sex was really really scary for me not so much now <laughs> but initially it was terrifying so yeah that one was rough the fourth thing that i have struggled with since giving birth is cooking before i had cam i cooked three four times a week most weeks now i never cook if i do it's like the quickest meal ever because she's actually as you can see a really really calm baby she doesn't give me any problems she doesn't give us any problems at all um but she is like my shadow and if she notices that i'm not around she gets kind of upset so i have to come and get her say hi baby say hi 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 here you go you okay so yeah that has just been a struggle for me i'm trying to get back into cooking because obviously eating out all the time is not a good look um but it's a struggle so pray for me. The next thing, I don't even know what number I'm on at this point, but I'll, I'll say the last thing. The last thing that has been a struggle for me is um, kind of what I already said, which is like social, um, my social life in a different way. I know that um, when I got married, 
I saw a post probably on Facebook back then that said, if you want to know who your real friends are, get married. And at the time I was just like, mm -hmm, girl, what? Yes. And then I got pregnant. And then I found another one that said, if you want to know who your real friends are, have children. And it is so true. And it's not to say that they're not your real friends if they no longer are um, associating with you after you give birth to your baby. It's just to say that, you know, you're in two different paths now. You're no longer... Um, in the mommy path, you know, you don't, I mean, you're no longer in the non mommy path. When I was not a mom, I took that time for granted because I didn't really do as much as I probably could have been doing, um, during that time. I didn't really, well, hubby and I traveled, we did travel, we did a lot of things, but I feel like now that I have her, there's so many other things that I probably could have done that I just didn't do for whatever reason. Um, but it's totally different after having a baby. Life is different. And sometimes, you know, some friends are not able to stay in your life after that transition. It's a huge transition to go from picking up at any time to leave the house to literally having to plan hours in advance. I, if I have to be somewhere by 11, I'm up at 7 trying to prepare myself and her um, before we're able to go, especially, like I said, because I breastfeed. So that makes a big, big difference. Also, um, just upkeep, my own upkeep. My nails need to be done. Look at this. Cray, cray. It's Mother's Day. My nails look like this because hubby still works and um, I kind of have to fit my schedule around his schedule because no one else babysits her just yet. Um, I hope that eventually I will allow other people to or allow myself to let her stay with other people but for now I'm more so comfortable with her just being with her dad and I um I'm just I'm a new mom and I would prefer just for her to be with my dad my husband or I so that's what has been the norm for us as of late um and I have to kind of work around his schedule which is not always easy um but we do what we can when we can how we can and Hopefully, I'll be able to get my nails done this week. I don't know. I pray I do because this is a mess. But, yeah, so if my nails have been a distraction to you up until this point, now you know why. <laughs> All right, you guys, those are the top things that changed for me drastically since becoming a mom. Obviously, there are so many more, but I would love for you guys to leave your drastic changes since becoming a mom, the struggles of being a new mom. Um, it doesn't matter if you're on your baby number one or baby number five, girl. Things change with every child. Something happens that changes in your life. Um, I will say some great things that have happened as a result of becoming a mom is I have become more confident. I am more ambitious. There are things that I have been wanting to do that I hadn't done that I'm now in the process of working on. Um, you know, you just have something bigger than yourself to live for. And that's really, really important. Also, um, it strengthened my marriage a lot. My husband and I um, have just become closer. He's always been like my best friend. You know, we have a love-hate relationship sometimes. We love each other. And other times I want to punch him. And he, you know, we get on each other's nerves. But um, having her has just really brought us closer together. We bond in a different way now. And it's just, it's a, it's a huge blessing. So I don't want it to be confused. Being a mom is a huge blessing. And um, it does not matter if you are a biological mother or if you are a mother by any other way. You're a mom if you're a mom. Okay? And so I want to say Happy Mother's Day. Again, Happy Mother's Day. Say Happy Mother's Day, baby. Oh my goodness, you are juicy. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Be sure to go and check out Ray and Avery and baby Ace at Our Normal Life Atlanta. I will have the link to their video down below in the info box. And I hope that you guys are enjoying your weekend. We are enjoying ours. And we will see you guys in the next video. Say bye-bye, Bubba. Bye-bye.